Morning, folks. Welcome to the farm. I deleted my first few videos. I've, um, I still had a bit of rant in me from yesterday's, uh, so I apologize for yesterday's uh, video. I'm building up the courage to go back to the hospital. We've got to go back now. And uh, it's going to be a tough one again, but now they've sent us to a third hospital. So the first two couldn't help us. So both Gray's Hospital and Northdale kicked us out. And now we're going to Edendale Hospital. So, yeah. Anyway, over the last few years, I've all but lost every little ounce of hope in humanity. People let me down so often. Eh? And uh, that's why you can't put your, your trust in people. you got to put your trust in the Lord. But um, I've had people say the strangest things to me. I mean, I'm looking after you. An old man, I was looking after at one stage, looking after multiple people at the same time in different places. And uh, it, it obviously it affects you financially. And I get I get told things like, you know, I put myself in those. That's my bad decisions. And I put myself in those spots. It's no offer to help. There's uh, you know, like stuff here, you're doing it to yourself. So that's the one thing that um, <clears throat> makes you doubt people's character. And the other thing was yesterday watching people who have uh, chosen a certain path in their life, chosen to care for people, doctors, nurses, um, security guards. Um, I know security guard doesn't sound like it, but in the hospital, security guards are there to protect and they help. They help. They're supposed to help. Um, and yeah, I, I was watching it just fall apart yesterday and. Um, the, the, the grind of the hospital is just, it's just, um, you're a number, whether you're dying or not, you're still a number. Um, it's a, it's a sick mess. Uh, and <sighs> it's very sad to see people like it that go to work. Um, they have a job. That's it. They don't have no passion. There's no, there's no, um, remember I've, sp I've spoken about this before. There's no purpose. And we have to find our purpose in life. And if you're just doing a job every single day and you're just grinding away at it and you're not putting any love or passion into it, then there's no purpose there. Um, you, you're not actually doing the world any good, um, in my opinion. If you're working for a place that doesn't better the world in any way, then where's your purpose? So I work for myself. I'm, I'm broke ass all the time. But my purpose is now to help people, and I've, I've been doing it for many years, and I try to help where I can. And I know it, it affects my family at times, and I have to – it's very difficult for me to say no. But eventually, I have to say no in places when I've got nothing, and I've got no more time or effort or money to, to help. So that's my purpose. I'm going to continue to try helping people, no matter which way I go. That's the type of person I am, and that's what I feel is my purpose. So for those of you who think I'm being a fool, I really don't care. That's what I have to do. That's what I feel I have to do. And I'm going to continue to do it. And, uh, yeah, I hope I don't end up in jail today. I hope this hospital actually helps us because if they don't, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rough. I'm not letting this old man suffer anymore. I'm sorry. Um, so, you know, if, if, if I do get locked up, if any of you guys can help, let me know. <laughs> um, I might need to get bailed out. I haven't got bucks. So, yeah. All right, folks. Um, here we go. Let's hit the thing on the head. You guys have a good day. God bless.